Hey everybody, welcome to a new video, my name is Midway and today once again I bring you some more Legend of Mushroom and today it's a very special day, I just reached level 100 a few hours ago and I am planning on re-rolling and choosing a new class for myself now I've been playing a mage, in particular I've been playing a spell striker I think it's called let me just go ahead and show you the evolutions, um, it's called spellcaster of course and I've been playing this ever since I started playing the game, it was most likely the best option early on it just has a lot of raw damage but now that we got to level 100 there's a lot more choices here to be made and gear is also a lot more meaningful well it was already before but you can make up a build with very proper stats and uh, that the choice basically it's going to be an archer right most people are going archer once they reach level 100 but I am not just going to be re-rolling to one of the two archers I'm gonna be trying both out I'm just gonna be re-rolling twice and we're going to be doing a very quick test by playing against the uh, the Blazing Cave, right? I got two challenges here. Now, I know just one challenge alone doesn't really mean much because there is a lot of different randomness here. Uh, there's the creeds and such and the evasion from the boss. I'm not sure if the boss is actually evade to be fair. But we will just try out both classes and see how we do on the blazing cave and we'll just see what has more damage now there's also more to it of course there is considerations here for pvp as well but we'll just go ahead and try to measure both classes against each other with whatever stats i got right now i obviously don't have the best stats for an archer nor for any other kind of class because i just got random gear that i've been getting once you get to rainbow gear the upgrade is just massive but then of course you also got to look for the right stats right so let's just go ahead and do it We'll just click on reset, so we have uh, 4,000 diamonds, of course we got more than that, and we'll just go ahead and evolve, right? So we are an adventurer, right? Well, obviously, we are just a, a normal shroomy level 1, whatever, first evolution. We gotta go to the next one, so we'll go through these screens. Now at this point, we'll click evolve again, and we'll choose an archer, I choose you, right? So what are we gonna be going first with here? Let's uh, Give me just a second as we go through this evolution screens right so first of all we'll try the wind crossbower that is a lower path right yeah the wind crossbower is a lower path now i've seen most people are actually going sacred hunter however i got a hunch that a plume monarch might just be doing very very good for themselves I, I thought it was gonna be actually the best option but let's just let's just go ahead and try both and we'll see how those fare against each other right so let's go with the wind crossbower first and let's just follow through with the path. So we got to go through some evolutions first. We'll go through this one. And then we'll choose once again evolve and choose that one. All right. And then after that, we'll choose once again evolve arrow god. There we go. So we got max evolution. We are not yet awakened, of course. We got to go to level 110 for that, I think. Right, so we got our little fella right here. We got all the skills, so we don't really have to change anything. Everything's just changed for us. Uh, obviously, I got equipped uh, the mount and the artifact are equipped. I just don't have them showing, or rather, they are unequipped. The effects still count, I just don't have them showing, just so I can see my character. And I'll see the big ass mount in the middle, right? So let's just jump straight into the dungeon right so we got our weapon here our stats are the following we got a lot of evasion we got some combo but not too much uh, especially for just having a flat 30 percent combo from the get-go with the uh, the skills right that you get from or actually the passives here the combo by uh, plus 30 percent right i have very little combo for for an archer but that's just how it is we'll have to go from there and then i got a lot of crit rate i got a lot of evasion and uh, what about my skill crit it's down here i got not too much skill crit but we'll see how we do for ourselves, right? So let's just go ahead and jump into the Blazing Cave and we'll see what our total damage is. And then we'll compare that to the other evolution. And I mean, maybe I'll just reroll to whatever's best or maybe I'll just stay with what I finished last. So the next um, other, uh, whatever the other spec is for Archer. But let's just see. I haven't done this in a while. So obviously my damage is going to be a lot higher than last time. But nonetheless, we'll see what the total damage is afterwards. So I just feel like it just got right to the end there. But anyways, we did 44.2 million damage, right? Let's just keep a note on that. 44.2 million damage. I mean, we might as well not go through any upgrades just in case, just so we keep it as it is, right? So 44.2. Now let's go ahead and reset that once again. So we are spending a lot of diamonds here, but it's for a good cause. We just want to make some content here, right? So we'll once again go through all of this. And we'll choose the upper path afterwards. So we'll now evolve again to an archer. 
we got a bit 44.2 million with the same stats and just different skills coming from so we chose the wind crossbow before now we go with the shadow sniper so we'll just go all the way through the upgrades gotta take a little time i don't seem to be able to skip this evolution animations right so <laughs> it's just what it is but we just got a bit 44.2 so we'll go through the last one we go to the shadow hunter now and again there's a lot of randomness to this you could get more or less crits but it is what it is i'm gonna be using of, of course the same pals and the same skills i'm not gonna change anything i'm just gonna go straight into it and try to beat my previous last best damage and we'll just see what the difference is if it's very meaningful i mean we would already have an answer here straight up just for pbe when it comes to bossing uh, that doesn't take into account the normal boss clearing from the uh, rest of the um, well we seem we are doing a little bit less there we go we did actually no we did we did more i think we got to level 60 so we actually did a little bit more we did 45.5 the difference is very minimal to be fair but we did a little bit more so i mean one million there one million here is is not too big of a difference really but for some reason people are choosing to go with this over the other archer option i kind of really think that this is going to depend a lot on your stats as well if you do happen to have a lot of combo, which I don't, then you could potentially get a better build if you just get a lot of benefit of the other options that we had for or the on the other evolution of the archer. Here we are, of course, um, getting quite some benefit from this because I have a lot of attack crit, right? So we are really proccing this a lot. And as you can see right here, I got 41.8% uh, crit rate. So that is quite a lot. And then we just have increased basic attack uh, then well, we have a chance to deal the percent da health damage we got the crit damage bonus of course that's going to be very handy we just do a lot of crits and then we have the base stats from the other option but if we just go ahead and check out the other evolution real quick of course we are missing out on two extra bullets just normal basic attacks we're missing out on the additional three bullets during combos and we are also missing out on the combo damage right so if we had a lot of combo the difference maybe would have been there i just don't really happen to have that much combo right now so maybe just because of the stats that i got right now and because of the rng that i happen to get into those blazing caves then well the class that i just chose the Shadow Hunter just seems to be slightly farther ahead, but it's not too big of a difference. Now, obviously, the good thing here would have been to be able to test it out again against my previous mage build, but I don't happen to, to have enough challenges here, right? So let's just do a quick test and just, well, challenge the current stage that I'm in, right? So before I couldn't beat this boss because I was a mage and I didn't have enough damage. Let's see if I can beat this boss now within the timer with the damage that I got on this class now. And to be fair, it seems like I am most definitely killing this a lot quicker, right? I had no trouble there. I had 10 seconds to spare. And right before when I was a mage there, a spellcaster, I was like 10 seconds away from killing the boss in time, right? So that's already a big advantage. It didn't really change much here. Now let's just try to beat some of these guys as, um, as uh, an archer here. Now I don't really know if I faced these guys before when I was a mage. I might have. I don't really have a good... Um, base line. Maybe I should have tried to, to face myself against a specific player, right? I could just practice against them as a mage and then practice practice once again against them as an archer. But to be fair, it does seem like I am beating this guy. I mean, yeah, I couldn't really tell if I was going to beat them before or not. But nonetheless, seems like I am decently strong, right? So I might consider that an upgrade straight up just for PvE because of the fact that I defeated that boss so much quicker. Now, when it comes to everything else, I don't really know if it's really an upgrade or not. It might be a little bit better or worse for PvP. And then, well, we just have to take the stats into consideration to really call a winner any of either specs. Really, at this point, really want to make this clear. Stats are really, really damn important. So your gear, of course, the, the higher tier and the higher level, the better. But stats are really going to make a difference on what class is best. So yeah, hopefully enjoy, enjoy that. Now, if you want to get, um, if you're going to be spending any money on this game or any other game on an Android device or an emulator on your PC, you might as well do so through Aptoid. You see my code, everything's going to be down in the description. Just set it up, download Aptoid on your mobile phone, download the game through Aptoid, and then whenever you are making purchases on Aptoid, then you will be, or when you're playing the game through Aptoid and you make any purchases, you will be getting from a 15% or rather a 10% baseline up to a 35% bonus that then you can use to buy stuff for free. Basically, you just get a discount on things because then you can use those bonuses to make even more purchases within uh, 
uh, the game. So yeah, I've been using this for a little while, got some stuff for free. It's really damn cool, really damn efficient, and just uh, I really recommend it. Obviously, you help me out if you use my code, and you also get a flat 5% increase bonus from the get-go, right? So hopefully you enjoy that. Let me know if you do so. Check out the comment section or the description for anything below and just comments right there. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, and bye-bye. See you.